Meet the Leaders. Hi there, I'm David Smith. Nice to have you with us as we're at the state capitol. And it's always interesting to be here. We're in the midst of the session, about three weeks in. And we are pleased to have Representative Libby Florin, one who has been with us for a good number of years, taking care of uh, her constituents in Greenwich and Stanford, and who has announced that she's standing down. I am. I'm and not running for re-election. That is, uh, that is going a big disappointment, needless to say, to uh, constituents. Uh, we should say that uh, Libby is one of those who is able to cross uh, the aisles and work with lots of different people, and that is critically important in the political system. So uh, it's always good to see you, and thanks so much Thank for being you, with us. And, and to that end, and running for election, I know one of the focuses that you've been taking a look at is elections, election reform and registration reform. And this is something that has been on the minds of a lot of people and still is controversial. And I don't understand it. You know, for years I served on government administration and elections, in fact, 10 years of my legislative life, and I was ranking member for four. And every time something comes up, like election day registration or whatever, there are people that say, oh, fraud, fraud, fraud. And I, I just don't get it. I mean, I think that we have systems in place and um, fail-safes that protect the sanctity of the vote. And I've always felt that way. Now, the big issue, this, well, there are two issues. Finally, um, the no-fault absentee ballot will appear as a referendum item in November. Now, that took forever because we had to get two-thirds vote, then we didn't make and, and it. And what, what does that provide for? It provides that you can have an absentee ballot just because you feel like having an absentee ballot. Okay. Now, in our Constitution, there's a carve-out for you have to be in the military, um, on business, electoral business out of the district, or out of town. Mm -hmm. Those are the only three reasons you can now receive an absentee ballot. But that's the only um, stricture in our Constitution, and no one can figure out why it was placed there, so we're removing it. I mean, I hope we're removing it. I think people, if it's well presented, and the League of Women Voters will do a very good job of, you know, describing it. Because sometimes those referendum questions, when you want to say yes, you have to vote no. Right, right. You know? So we're going to have to have a it, huge educational. Mm -hmm. Number two. Mm -hmm. Number two, oh, go ahead. No, you, you had number two. Oh, number the, two the, is the, the national popular vote. And I am probably the only person in my caucus that supports it, and I have supported it forever. And that's because I truly believe that it should be one person, one vote. And all of these caucuses and primaries, and it just takes forever, and it costs too much money. And the worst part is it allows special interests to Shanghai the agenda. I mean, we live in a world of the bell-shaped curve. Almost every person in this country is in that middle ground. But you look at the platforms on both, both parties mm -hmm. or the agendas mm -hmm. that happen in these caucuses and stuff, way outside the middle. So you want to see the public election? I want every person's vote to count. And if you're going to have a primary, it should be an open primary countrywide. Get rid of these caucuses, get rid of this interminable two-year run up to choosing a candidate. Mm -hmm. Get rid of the Electoral College. You know, people talk about election fraud and so forth. In fact, no matter who you talk to who has done real hard research about it, the percentage of electro electoral fault... De minimus. I know what you meant. Point oh, 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 one. I mean, it's virtually non-existent, and yet people wave that fraud flag every time any kind of restructuring is proposed. Well, it's a fear tactic. And why? Well, why are so they afraid? They're afraid they're not going to get the vote. Well, that's, you know, that, that's all well and good, but uh, the other side should be doing a better job at countering that, mm -hmm. that fear with more, the facts should be able to get out with folks like yourself. You're absolutely correct. And I think we're gaining on it. And what's helping is technology because we can track people you know, very, very easily. Sure. And we know, we know if somebody's voting twice and that's not going to happen. And I can say that with almost certainty. Same day registration. Uh, that was so another one. Another that one. is now a law. We um, had it for the first time this past election cycle in November. And I guess we had about uh, 2,500 people all that, that took part what a concept. and it worked fine. Uh, a legislator actually believes that people should be allowed to vote. Yes, and, and more of them. And more of them. Mm -hmm. Early and often. 
Well, at least no. once. <laughs> Thanks so that. much for being with us. We look forward to catching up with you, and uh, you'll get a deserved rest, but you've got a lot of work to do first. I do. Thank you. <laughs> Libby Foreign, our guest on this edition of Meet the Leaders. More is coming up for you, though, from the state capitol in just a moment.